Hello and welcome to lecture two of aerospace propulsion. In this lecture, we're going to continue our discussion uh, of rocket propulsion. So here's the anatomy of a uh, rocket engine and rocket nozzle. So either um, in, in sort of full-scale rockets, normally we're, we'd be most commonly dealing with liquid-fueled rockets. In this case, essentially, oxidizer and uh, fuel are pressurized by pumps, uh, and this is fed into a com this high-pressure uh, fuel and oxidizer are fed into a combustion chamber, where combustion takes place, producing uh, mixing between the, the fuel and oxidizer and combustion from this come hot gas uh, at high pressure so we use T sub C and P sub C for the temperature and pressure in the combustion chamber and the flow velocities in the combustion chamber are quite small um, so these are essentially equivalent to the local stagnation conditions there then we have a nozzle normally we would have a convergent divergent nozzle and a rocket to achieve supersonic flow um, which can become highly three-dimensional downstream. During that uh, nozzle expansion flow, there will typically be heat loss to the surroundings. Exit pressure acts on the nozzle, and uh, there's an exit velocity, UE, um, for the flow exiting the nozzle. So this is pretty complicated. In order to be able to have any kind of hope of uh, understanding the basic behavior of these systems, we need to break it down into models. And the one that we're going to focus on today is a simple model for the flow in the nozzle. We did talk about this a little bit in aerospace engineering fundamentals, um, but uh, we'll, we'll revisit it here. Uh, right? in, in that course, we modeled uh, rocket nozzles by assuming the combustion stagnation pressure stagnation temperature uh, and gas composition, which basically meant the specific gas constant and the specific heat ratio. Um, and, and then from there, sort of, we're able to, to follow isentropic flow through the nozzle. The simplest possible case is if we imagine, say, we're out in space and we're expanding to zero pressure and zero temperature. Then the exhaust velocity C turns out to be the square root of 2 over uh, gamma over gamma minus 1, where gamma is the ratio of specific heats, times R, which is the specific gas constant, and Tc, the combustion chamber stagnation temperature. So here's the first uh, conceptual problem for you to think about today, is where did this result come from? What principles were used to obtain this result uh, on the last slide and shown below again here? And what assumptions were made? So I want you to take a few minutes and think about this and try to come up with an answer for yourself before we mo you move on to the next part of the video uh, or slides.